is Imani Sarai Francis. I am a growing young artist in the classical voice field. I am from New Orleans. I am uh, 22 years old. I'm a graduate of Boston Conservatory at Berklee College of Music. 2020. <laughs> Music is my life and passion, um, but I like to explore other things. I enjoy painting. Um, reading poetry, researching historical moments and just history in general, composing even. I'm getting into like more media uh, stuff with like a looper and possibly getting a bass guitar. So I got like expanding different things like that. I'm currently pursuing my master's um, at LSU. I'll be studying with Dr. Lorraine Sims, such a sweet, sweet human being. I'm extremely, extremely excited to work with her and to be a part of the LSU family. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing so far. My first opera was Porgy and Bess. I was like three, four years old. My mom um, worked at Dillard University at the time. It's like before Katrina. She formed, um, and directed this program called Opera Under the Stars. And that time they did Porgy and Bess. And so I was uh, playing basically a little kid <laughs> in the community. I did all types of things on, on that stage. I sang, I danced, I acted. It was so, you know, peaceful and I felt free. Just listening to all the singers and just watching my mom teach and direct, it was just mind-blowing and so I just really it's one of my favorite moments in my life in my young kitty life you know uh it's just to experience all of that oh this is a hard one but it, it was also you know easy my favorite opera is Aida by Verdi my mom is my main inspiration for like just singing as a whole but also with just this opera in particular. I grew up just listening to her beautiful voice sing O Patria Mia. She did Aida in Shreveport and uh, it was before I was born and uh, just you know growing up in the house she would sing it all around and so I was just like drawn to it. Ever since then I've just been stuck on Aida and she still sings it which is like ah oh, I love you mom thank you. She just lightens my spirit every time as well as you know uh, me seeing um, O Patra Mia sing, sung by uh, Leontine Price at the Met um, her farewell is just breathtaking. off the list Aida there's William Grant Steele's um, Bayou Legend Lawrence Freeman's Voodoo maybe some more Verdi as well as Susanna and the council oh the council is my favorite one of my, my other favorites Freedom Ride by Dan Shore I was recently blessed with the mother role in in Freedom Ride in Boston I felt like it was needed it tells like a great story of the Freedom Riders in New Orleans I personally uh, have been blessed to work with Jerome Smith the last Freedom Rider um, in New Orleans uh, I work with him in Tambourine and Fan summer camp, and it hurts my soul with this pandemic that I wasn't able to work with our kids. We actually lost um, one of our boys to uh, gun violence. It's been really hard, but I feel that telling this story um, in the form of an opera and that way kids can see it will lighten up a lot of a lot of moments, a lot of strong, powerful moments. I envision um, the future of opera to be very colorful, you know, uh, more of everybody in it, everyone, every skin, every emotion, every feeling, every creative, everyone work together and and love and learn from each other um, because I feel that will grow this field like as a result to that especially in the times that we live in we definitely need to stick together instead of break apart and love more than hate I remember that when I was in um, high school when I first did the competition I won that and I won some change for that and that was a blessing and that helped me um, when I first went to school with getting books and travel and then recently um, the two, 2019 
Um, I won that one and that has blessed me to also uh, help me with traveling for my grad school auditions to prepare me and, and my um, places to stay and getting um, books and different things of that sort and that has been a, a lot of help through Miss Debbie in the Wood competition.